morning guys Ooh, let me take these sunglasses off because it's actually quite dark so i am dressed it is like quarter to 8 a.m heading into central london because i'm going on like an influencer day out i feel like this is probably my first one so i just thought i would document it because why not so i'll probably get into the details later because i am on a strict time schedule right now um but essentially yeah i'm going into central london and then we're getting driven out onto the outskirts of london for like a day event thing that's happening so i'm dressed i will show you guys my outfit later and i just wanted to let you know what was going on before the vlog gets a little bit like where is she what's happening what's she doing blah 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 that's what's happening anyway i'm gonna go now in the car rich is all sorted i'm gonna put his food out i'm going to make myself like a mini coffee to take in the car because i've got like a 20 minute drive to a station that i want to park at it just makes my life easier and yeah i'll see you guys <laughs> American girls and isn't it crazy that I actually know one of them Tanika Tanika B we met in Paris and she's from New York and it's just crazy and everyone's meeting everyone that they've known like these two girls here they know each other already as well but it's just amazing because I just didn't expect to see anyone that I knew so also it's warming up it's really really nice I'm just gonna walk over to Hermes hi <laughs> As I was saying, this is Tanika and I can't believe we bumped into each other and I just met, you look so nice. I love your dress. It's Tanika with her Hermes outside of Hermes for me. <laughs> it's like she knew. <laughs> Rating them and yeah. so far so good. Right? So far so good. So far yeah. so good. Yeah, I like the button out. I love, today, I love, you know? I love the length. It's very flattering. Flattering. Oh, love Classic. it. You'll wear it to death, he says. <laughs> oh, I love it on it's perfect. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's just yeah. yeah. I feel like the silhouette is Every, it's yeah. perfect, yeah, yeah, the fit. I like it. I love <laughs> <laughs> every month every two really? months he has to go and get his hair cut oh, because his hair doesn't fall off look at these cars you guys oh the whole lifestyle is for me <laughs> this is actually which one is it my favorite car <gasps> look at the green wow okay we're going to have a private vip lunch now in here and we cannot wait Land Rovers. 
colours. The Defender, it's like a matte black. Wow. So gorgeous, look at it. Oh, the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the song that makes you proud to be British. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. Hey guys, I am home. Oh my gosh, I had the best day ever. <gasps> oh! My laptop is there so as i was saying the florist team are so lovely it was just so nice a nice change of scenery windsor windsor is stunning everywhere you look it's just like breathtaking views just greenery and water and yeah lovely buildings and houses obviously and yeah i have a bad habit of not rounding off my videos and saying bye that's a better angle for me. Uh, oh. <laughs> so I figured I should probably show you what I got from Floris before I get into this bed and fall asleep and crash. Well, I need to take my makeup off first. First, some Fortnum & Mason chocolates, which I have actually already opened, but they're like a special Platinum Jubilee edition. Oh my gosh, it matches me today. So I have opened them on the journey home. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's a whole set. I thought this was chocolate. Oh yay, we got the florist scarf, which we saw everywhere today. A very, very special gift, yay. So, <laughs> I put the camera in such a weird angle, so excuse me, let me just put it up a little bit. So this is actually the perfume that, oh, I can't believe I have one. It smells so good, you guys. You may have seen in the vlog earlier, we were all smelling it. The florist team are just so lovely, like, just had the best time. It's like we were all just friends. Oh, and it's nice because, so scents, what I love about scents is not just you go out and you smell nice, but actually smells and scents and notes can take you back to a time. It's a great reminder. Um, and I know this is just going to remind me of this time of my life. I know this might sound really weird, but today was a really special day for me for so many reasons, like personal reasons and stuff. And I think it was, if anything, what I would say is it's just like, I feel like sometimes God puts things into your life as just reminders and cues that you're on the right track, you're doing well, or you, you just... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And oftentimes, I honestly feel my nan around me a lot. And I don't know, I just feel like working with a brand like Floris. Come on guys, get out! Um, and just just being able to experience Floris, I think my nan would be really, really proud of me. And I think this is a scent that she would absolutely love, not just because it's purple and gold, I actually had purple and gold wallpaper in my bedroom growing up. I just remembered that. And I got it because it was my nan's favourite colour. <laughs> so yeah, I think she would genuinely love this scent. And I think this is going to remind me of my nana. And just a marker in time. Um, that I feel really proud of myself right now. And in the weirdest way maybe i'm just delirious and tired we've had a long day so very sleepy and tired but i can't even open anything right now what is going on but um i feel really proud of myself After the gym on Mondays, I like to go to the supermarket and get my food. It's just easier and better for me to do it on a Monday than on a Sunday sometimes. So this is my week's food shop. Now I am on a clean, clean diet this week, you guys. I mean business. Right, so for my protein, meats, whatever, you guys know I don't eat meat often. So I've got some bonus chicken thighs, prawns, sea bass with the nice 
butter which just a little bit of a cheat and some salmon so this is what i'll be eating throughout the week so then veg wise i love to just make my life easy so i've got this like mediterranean mix that i always get i also got some broccoli and asparagus and peas green thing going on i've got like a stir fry i'm thinking to do that with the prawns like a little stir fry i've got some avocados of course some kale for dinners and lunches but also for smoothies sweet potato as well as my carb because i'm just i don't like carbs but i don't mind a sweet potato then i also got like a caesar salad super quick super easy for a lunch then some fruit bananas apples these are really for richie to be honest but i have some too and oh i said that too loud um, and some mango and then some eggs that i'm gonna have now for breakfast boiled eggs and, and a protein shake so why have i still got these on oh my gosh okay so question for myself right now is what am i doing with my week i hope i haven't dented my hair what am i doing with my week um that is a really good question hi richie that is a really good question you guys because my week is quite clear so whenever these kind of clear weeks happen i get a little bit like i panic when things are a bit quiet but we're not doing that this week i want to push myself creatively in terms of my content i want to come up with some ideas new ideas and push myself. I also am thinking to go and shoot with my remote and tripod, possibly tomorrow, maybe at a studio. I need to confirm that. I hit 29K followers on Instagram on Saturday, and this morning I'm on 29.1K. So we are getting close to 30K, which means I need to think of a good giveaway idea for instagram also the other challenge for the week is to continue clearing out my office wardrobe room because i am changing it up i am over the open wardrobe vibe i've had it let's say six years pretty much five six years i've had some sort of open wardrobe in that room and i just want the room to feel a bit more organized i actually want to use it as an office now so it's 16th of May and I'm reading my Daily Stoic book, which again, I'm gonna try and do every single day this week. So today says The Chain Method. I'm gonna read it to you guys because it's actually a really, really good way to start the day. If you don't wish to be a hothead, don't feed your habit. Oh, they are reading me today. Try as, try as a first step to remain calm and count the days you haven't been angry. I used to be angry every day, now every other day, then every third or fourth. If you make it as far as 30 days, thank God, for habit is first weakened, then obliterated. When you can say, I didn't lose my temper today or the next day, or for three or four months, but kept my core under provo provocation, you will know you are in a better health. I feel like this book knew who it was talking to this is something that i've been trying to work on and that's my boyfriend calling me Ooh, richie i will wait for you come oh you should get your nails cut today don't we can i have a read with us <laughs> he's like you're so annoying let's have a read epictetus was saying that it can also be used to eliminate a negative habit it's not all that different than taking sobriety one day at a time start with one day doing whatever it is be a manager <laughs> what are you doing i'm kidding mm, i love you i swear what are you doing all right sit down <laughs> start with one day doing whatever it is be it managing your temper or wandering eyes or procrastination then do the same the following day and the day after that build a chain and then work not to break it don't ruin your streak i love this is literally talking to me right now so what i tend to do is i'll just like skim back over and just like highlight or underline the things that jump out to me because that's how my mind can be quite visual I know why, because 
in the spirit of not wasting any food and being good and holding myself accountable this is my lunch so i've gone with a salad that i bought earlier that you saw add some avocado sorry those are my um vitamins for the day and also some leftover olives from yesterday's nando's along with these three wings from yesterday's nando's because i'm not wasting food and i'm a grown-up girl so yeah i'm gonna have this lunch right now Hey guys, so basically all I do is eat and cook, <laughs> but I'm just going to make like the quickest stir fry right now using some toasted sesame oil just to give it a bit of flavour because I'm doing minimal seasonings and vibes. So I've washed my veggies here. I'm at Many Room Studio. That is my stuff looking a little bit crazy over there, but it's so, so gorgeous. I was just saying to the lady that let me get in how similar vibe my home is. Like it reminds me of my home, but it's just a bit clearer and a bit more spacious. Obviously, I mean, it's much bigger than my living room. So it means that I can just be a bit more inspired here, if that makes sense, compared to um, my home, as much as I love my home, sometimes you just need a new space and the environment. Through there is like toilet changing area, there's lovely light coming in as well. Look one is complete, I think, I hope so. I'm gonna change now and yeah, time actually goes so, so quickly, but we're making it work. Okay, copyright, let's go. <laughs> okay, look. Three, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna figure it out, you guys. And time's really ticking, so I'm gonna put you guys there. Test shot time. My bad. Hey Google, stop. And that concludes the end of my session at Many Rooms. I have to say, I could stay here the whole day, like until the evening, because it's so relaxing that you actually just want to chill out, but you have to work. So yeah, I've loved it, you guys. Closest station, I think, where I got off was Latimer Road, and it was like a five to seven minute walk under like the underpass, so pretty quick. So now I'm gonna head off to my second appointment of the day. I'm heading to Selfridges now because I'm gonna go pick up some clothing that I'll be shooting later in the week. Also, haven't eaten anything for lunch, which is not on my new brand. I did have mango and banana in the car drive. This is also outside of the studio. How just beautiful is this courtyard? I need to be quiet. I think there's like work offices and different things going on around here, but oh my God, this tree though. Perfect backdrop. So I don't think I said, I actually grew up not too far from here and this area here is a very like creative like hub. There are studios, I think there's like pineapple studios and music and I can actually hear someone doing like singing lessons from one of these rooms and I actually used to do singing lessons myself when I was younger I used to do piano I was in the choir I've sang in the Royal Albert Hall sorry that's just the pulley there I don't know if I've told you guys but just a random random memory of mine that I thought I would share so I'm walking to the station now and the walk is actually quite beautiful as you can see we're in West London such a beautiful day people playing tennis out here so nice then you've got the old council blocks and estate there's quite a lot in west london actually um of course you know about grenfell etc there's loads around here and i saw this and i couldn't capture it because i was a little bit flustered earlier but how beautiful is this in the middle of these flats You've got the old there, you've got some new ones there, you've got a school here, but in the middle of it all you have this. Speaking of Grenfell, there it is. Women's now, so I know it's on this floor, I just need to find it. 
but how cool is this? This reminds me of the menswear exhibition that I just went to on the weekend. So cool. This is so nice. Wow, love that. Wow, wow, wow. What? New Marine Serum. I love this too. You guys see this in every one of my Selfridges vlogs. This is nice. I haven't seen this set before. This is really cute. These are definitely a bit of me patchwork. I like the new collection. These are cute. Sports vibes. Oh, this is what I look like. So I always forget the name. Could be. Could be small. This bag has been stalking me. So nice. I love this green. Oh, it comes in this as well. I've never seen this one. Oh my gosh. Was it 800, 850? 850. 850. Can I just look in the mirror? Sorry. Oh my, I did not know it came in neutral, guys. Can you see it? It's like the monogram. So it also comes in pink and black, which is actually quite nice. I think this bag is so cute. But I like it in the bright colours. You guys know my boyfriend hates this style bag. This is really nice. That's so gorgeous. It's like a long strap. Next spot is her. I'm gonna choose some pieces and try some stuff on. Guys, this is so nice, but is it bad that I don't even remember what a 36 is? Like, is that a 10? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm gonna have to check. I like that. This is pretty. These are the three outfits that I'm going to try on. I'm only going to choose one this time, but it's going to be hard. <laughs> you guys can't see this part, so I'll see you in look one. Now, I really, really love it, but it is loose, I'm not gonna lie. The top's okay, but it's the trousers. So they have these like cutout bits. That's fine, that's cute. But the back also. And pack lunch. Um, I love this dress. I love this dress. I wish I had somewhere to go. And I love the dress with the bag. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful with it. I've got gold heels as well, so that'd be nice. I might have to get this one, because this actually fits. And this is look number three. <laughs> okay, I do actually really like this as well. My only gripe is, gripe, whatever, is this on the side. I'm just not that girl. It does look nice, doesn't look bad, but I don't know if it's really me, this bit. Uh, yes, yes, that's the one. It's gonna pop. I have a good idea for backdrop and everything for it, so let's see what happens. Richie, the house is a mess, man. I need to tidy up today. I need to tidy up today because the can live so. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Um, I'm tired, I'm tired. Yesterday was a great day, nonetheless, but I'm tired. Um, I was up and down London yesterday, like, as you guys saw. After Selfridges, which ended up being a fail because the dress that I did want, which you guys saw, ended up being, like, reserved. So I didn't leave with any outfits. I did leave with two bags though, but um, yeah, we'll figure something out. And then after that, I was like, okay, so I have no outfit that I wanted to take some pictures of and wear tomorrow, meaning Thursday, today is Wednesday. So I ended up in Stratford Westfield looking in Zara. I bought some stuff, I'm not sure if I even like them, to be honest. There's Richie's head. Hi, Richie Lee. You just had your apple for the morning. So yeah, my stomach's grumbling. So I couldn't go to the gym this morning, you guys. So I am gonna go in the evening, which means I need to start getting ready so I can film. Today is a filming day. Today is filming reels and YouTube videos today. And then wardrobe clear out. Yeah. Anyway, this is my breakfast. Green smoothie, which has kale, banana, apple, you can see his head when I say apple. Kill banana, apple, and my vitamins like vitamin D, magnesium, iron, etc. I drop them in there. 
and some coconut milk and then i have this mango that my mother-in-law gave me yesterday when i went to visit her and it looks so sweet it has that that mango sweet smell i can't wait to have this so yeah also body progress i'm seeing it you guys but i have to say under this so i feel like my stomach area is um it's not as tight as it was because i had a bit of a binge a couple of months ago so i'm trying to work on this area but to be honest this is looking really good this is looking really good we're getting somewhere this looks really good as well arms and my back look pretty decent as well don't know if you guys can see that <laughs> anyway let me eat my smoothie and then um i'll see you guys when i get ready so i'm just doing a quick real setup super super quick for me i've literally just gone and found some background images that i like to use i don't like to use my actual home i think that's what kind of makes my reels interactive and attractive and um i already have like five real plans in my notebook here i just got a message from my agent okay yeah, that's all fine i just had to send off uh some work for river island for approval so that's sent i've got my real plans in this notebook that i'm just gonna like read through so i put them right here in front of the window where i stand here so i can actually read them off of my uh notebook if i need to when i list things i need to read it other things i can kind of just view so yeah, i'm gonna plug in my ring light now also just ate that sweet sweet mango and it was so good i think my intro is going to be something like did you know the government offer all of these schemes to help you buy your first home that was perfect so i'm gonna say that pause and then i'll come in with the help to buy share ownership first homes scheme right to buy right to acquire and all of that if you want to know about this you guys go and follow me on instagram hey guys so i just wrapped up three or four reels and a youtube video over there and now my living room looks like this and my River Island work has been approved, so I actually just want to post it today to get out of the way so my brain can function and think about other things. <laughs> I also got a delivery from Jamaica Valley, not sponsored. I bought it all myself. I just decided it was time to change all of my Caribbean seasonings for better recommended brands that don't have bad stuff. So I got a whole load of seasonings and I'll let you guys know what I think. Oh, I'm so hungry. Okay, I'm gonna put some chicken in the oven now because I'm gonna have that for lunch as well as dinner. Hey guys, so it's all systems go. I've got a load of things in my hands. I've got some stuff to return to River Island that I didn't end up using yesterday. Face wipes, I'm gonna take my makeup off in the car, phone, charger, also need to pick up my headphones and a bottle of water. So there's lots going on. Richie has a vet appointment in like an hour, but before that I need to drop off some stuff to the post office, etc., and other shops for different parcel services, that some clothes that I've sold, because you know I'm doing this wardrobe clear out. And then I'm gonna come back, take the dog to the vet, drop him back off, and go straight to the gym. So that's why I'm in my gym stuff now, and I'm packing my gym stuff for the car so that I can just go, because I just really just wanna get back in, like, and chill out. So yeah, very busy. I probably won't document my gym session today. The last one was a bit of a fail. But today, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do a lot of cardio. I need to like sweat. Good morning, everyone, from me and Richie. So Richie had his vet appointment yesterday, you guys. And um, his eyes are healing up. He's doing all right. And for any of you that wonder, yes, he has a lump here, but it's actually benign. And because of his age, um, we're not touching it. He doesn't show any signs of pain or discomfort at all. So that's what that is, in case you're wondering. And no, Richie, you cannot stand on my clothing. So last night I was so tired, but I did manage to plan three outfits. These are the two bags that I actually um, am renting from her. Today is Thursday. It's a little bit dark outside, I'm not gonna lie, but I have been checking the weather nonstop and apparently it's going to be sunny in London. So 
I decided to wear this cute, cute dress from Zara that I picked up a couple of days ago. It was only like £30 and I just think it's stunning. Um, I'm wearing these Jacquemus hoop earrings that I got from Farfetch. I'm wearing my LV bracelet from my boyfriend, some random rings, um, Monica Vinida, River Island. And on this hand I've got my Jacquemus handbag bangle and my other Monica Vinada bracelet that was a gift from my sister-in-law. And I've gone with like a deep orangey burnt red vibe on the eyes because my outfit I just think it complements it really really well and I'm wearing trainers right now because I'm gonna get the train I'll be carrying my Gucci bag as my day bag for the day it's just such a good size for me it carries everything that I need scents of the day these are my current favorites you all know that I've been loving this and been trying to savor it so I don't you know finish it too quickly but this is the Maison Francis Kirk Dijon gentle fluidity and it's the gold one not the silver and this is my new baby which I'm obsessed with and have been using way too much this is the Platinum 22 it's a gorgeous day in London I remember it was actually quite grey in Essex but it's nice today I put these on although I feel like they look really funny but it's so bright Honestly, the train ride made a huge difference because it was actually quite great earlier. There's carriages looking really, really vibrant today. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm on Bruton Street because this is the street of Nanushka, which I'll be meeting a friend at. But I thought I would actually just browse in some shops because I don't know if they're here yet. So let's see. So randomly came across this store. I'm blending it in with my colours. I don't know if something's going on, but I've just popped in and there's so, so many nice pieces. So many. Wow. Look at this dress. I love this. So nice. So, so nice. And the store is just stunning. Wow. Never come here before, but it's so nice. And look at all the china. Oh my god, I feel like it's very much something my mum used to dress me in when she used to take me to accessorise. She'd get me dresses like this. So cute, look. Love. It's Alice and Olivia. And here is the Nanushka store. So we're going to go in, which looks so beautiful. Hopefully they'll let me film because it's too nice to not film it. It's a lot. No. Oh, it's huge. Look at that, so lovely. So I just tried this jacket on and I love it. <laughs> I'll insert a clip, you guys. But the store is just, sorry, excuse my stuff there. So gorgeous. I could honestly live in here. Oh, it comes with a matching skirt too. So nice, right? This is the men's area. There's even like a little seating down there. The little cafe. And there's even like a nice seating area outside. A little terrace. So cute. I want to introduce you guys to my dream team that have <laughs> elevated the rich auntie vibes today. Not the rich auntie, the rich niece. Rich niece. I'm a rich niece. Chloe. Hi. Did my hair. <laughs> makeup. Marianne. Amazing. Are you on Instagram? Yes. You got makeup, yes, hey? Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, so yes. I'll follow you and then yes. I can. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Guys, look at the canvas today. Beautiful like, hair. you guys did this. The hair is herring. <laughs> the makeup. makeup thing. Are you <laughs> seeing wow. the blend, the base, the cut? Oh, it's, I look like myself. That's what I like about makeup yeah. and hair. Like yeah. it looks like my hair looks like my it face. It just enhances you. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a one bed apartment here you guys and it's really really nicely done I have to say so we'll just go straight into the kitchen 
I love the contrast of the kitchen. The colours are really, really nice. A nice dining table there, your TV area. This will be balcony doors as well, but because we're on the ground floor, this one will actually be a terrace. Um, but the ones upstairs have balconies. And look at this area. This is stunning. Back in the hallway, we have the family bathroom there, which is really nice. A very large storage cupboard. This bedroom, how gorgeous is that feature? Oh my gosh. And then I love it. They've done it so interestingly and it's really, really nice. All of these apartments, especially the ones higher up, are going to have amazing views, you guys. It's obviously currently under construction, as you can see. Good morning, you guys. Where is Jade sitting and doing her makeup today? Today, I'm currently on the floor in front of the coffee table. I've got my whole makeup set up, a coffee here, my mirror, and you guys. And I decided, what am I doing? I'm thrown off. I decided to get ready here. So it is currently about 7 a.m. And I'm getting ready for quite a busy day ahead. Not too busy, actually, just an early start, I would say. But before we get into that, you guys, I actually have something to tell you. This happened. I have hit 30,000 followers. So welcome to my page. All of you new people, I just wanna say a huge thank you. I'm gonna watch Netflix, have my favorite wine. And I wanted to let you know that I am actually going to be doing a really cute giveaway. So this week I'm gonna organize that. So stay on the page for details because I'll be doing a good post on it. Love you all. Thank you. I currently am at 30.2, do you know what? I'll put it on the screen. Instagram followers. I don't know what is going on, but I'm so grateful. So because I've hit such a milestone, which is huge for me, I am going to go and buy some stuff for a giveaway. So my idea behind this giveaway is the Jade Van Riel starter pack. <laughs> I have found the Hamptons garden and the BBC are doing some filming outside which is really cool. So much inspo for the garden that I want to create one day. So yeah, they're filming over there and I am going to get in the cabin where Sue is. Should be in here somewhere. I think she's in there. It looks like they're going to actually record in here, so I'm gonna actually head out. How cool is this? Imagine these in your garden. I really love this one. It's really, really nice. Okay, I'm out. How gorgeous are these apartments? So I'm going to go and get the giveaway things now. In Selfridges, I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom where the home furniture and all of that is, which is our section. I'm gonna find a good book today and maybe like a dipty candle or something like that. Exciting! I really do wanna get like a nice wine glass or a tea set, so let's look for that. Somewhere around here. Got candles. Well, this is lovely. Cute. Okay, now I need to choose the perfect book and there is just too many options but I'm gonna keep it very simple I'm going to go for something fashion fashion vibe something that I know everyone will love so I thought I would show you guys what I got on YouTube it's actually an Instagram only giveaway though I got one of my favorite candles from Diptyque some of my favorite chocolates 
um, a book that I've always wanted to buy and just never let myself buy, but I think I will when I move house because I have far too many books right now in this small flat. Of course, there is going to be a notebook journal of some kind that has some gold going on. And of course, there is going to be a teacup and I'm actually using mine. I bought one for myself as well so we can match. This is from Celeti and I just love everything that they do. This interior book is a book that actually I've never owned, but the lady behind this book, I love her Instagram page, I love her style, I've watched every YouTube video she's ever created, and I always have her pictures saved or post them. So I thought someone else deserves this, but I was tempted to buy this for myself, to be honest. And then I picked up this really cute, like, um, box from home sense or tk maxx yesterday i can't remember which one and it was just the only one there and i just thought this is so nice this is really nice addition to give to someone for you know their first home next home whatever because this giveaway i've basically called like the first home starter pack kind of thing so i just love it i love the detail of it and i think it would just be nice on a coffee table side table bathroom kitchen whatever wherever i also decided to get an essential oil diffuser because i love mine with a couple of essential oils there sleep breathe and comfort and lastly i had to get some kind of ornament piece and i've got something similar in gold but I actually prefer this one now. <laughs> um, and I got this from TK Maxx yesterday as well. Now I need to drink my coffee and I need to get ready because I've got quite a busy day ahead. Farfetch have kindly gifted me some stuff. Well, actually, they haven't gifted them to me. They are out for loan. So Farfetch are actually doing this thing with creators now where we can loan stuff, which just means we're like more sustainable. We're not wasting clothes. And I can take pictures of things, try them out before I, you know, commit to actually buying them because a lot of things are quite expensive. They've also given me a discount code, FF Wardrobe, and you get 10% off on site. First of all, this Dion Lee skirt that I chose, I cannot wait to wear this. This is the thing I'm really excited about. Excuse the mess, but I love it. I do think it's big. <laughs> it is big, not going to lie. But I might have to like sew it or just put a hairband or something. I love it. I love the skirt. I actually want to go and buy something from this brand now. But the bag. Can we just have a moment for this bag? Oh, it's very me. Also, it actually came with a longer strap in here as well. I don't think I'd wear it with the long strap personally. Because I just think it's like the perfect shoulder size oh my gosh it kind of just gives me a bit of the like my gucci bag vibe in terms of like that vintage 2000s early 2000s throw on your shoulder cool girl okay, i'm gonna shoot this outfit i'm gonna put some heels on some glasses maybe where are my sunnies i'm thinking these this is round one of the wardrobe clear out as you can see my drawers are all really really full so there's a lot that has to go also a lot of shoes and things i've been selling bags to be honest with you but there's just there's just too much stuff so i'm just going to continue like with my phases of getting things into bags and you know selling them recycling charity shops etc that's what i'll be doing and then i will be looking at revamping this room so you guys can follow me along that journey i just came home to these apple yard flowers and i'm beyond excited i have no idea who they're from not been expecting any flowers do you know who they're from richie did you get them for me you're talking so let's unbox it i've had a long day working today to film at like a development it was my sister's birthday over the weekend but she's down from liverpool so we literally just had like a birthday family day today i've eaten so much i've eaten cake Apple Yard do amazing UK. Oh my gosh. A whole, who is this from? 50 white roses. <laughs> what is going on, guys? <laughs> you have to see what I just saw. What? Who is this from? There needs to be a note because what is this? Oh my gosh. Oh. Where is the note? There's Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. 30k is the sum is small. 
30k to us is progress <laughs> keep pushing towards your dreams ever proud that sounds like my boyfriend <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it?